Say, have you ever gone out on a job and you're you're giving a proposal on floor on uh, floor care, and um, you know you're looking at this floor this floor and it's a VCT tile floor, and um, you know it, obviously it, it needs some work. Uh, you know that's why they called you there um, to uh, to strip and wax it. Uh, generally, sometimes what I've seen in the past is that people will uh, try to take shortcuts and uh, apply for finish uh, after they've either just done a few different things. Either one, they've vacuumed the floor and then applied the floor finish. Two, they've actually burnished the floor and then applied floor finish. Uh, and usually that's the case. And or three, in some cases they, they don't do any of that stuff and they just apply a, f a floor finish over, over the dirt and everything. But in, in any case, you're always going to be able to tell what's what's going on. Um, you're going to see the soil underneath the finish. Uh, that's really it's always a dead giveaway. You're going to see where you look at the corners and edges, and there's there's dirt and a dirt line all around it. But yet you can't you can't remove it because it's underneath the finish. Um, but you know those are just the things that that people do to try to get shortcuts, uh, which end up really uh, causing you issues later on. The thing to do is to just take your time and actually go ahead and scrub and recoat that floor. And what I mean by that is just go ahead and, and use a slow speed floor machine with a red pad or a maroon pad. Uh, go ahead and uh, apply your uh, detergent cleaner and uh, go ahead and scrub it up and then uh, pick it up with a wet vacuum, uh, mop it with a neutral pH floor cleaner and then uh, after it's dry then go ahead and apply your floor finish and generally you're going to apply one or two coats to the floor. So that's the proper way to do it. Uh, so you know don't try to take any shortcuts uh, when you have to uh, when you want to apply floor finish uh, because again uh, it's just it's, it's, it just looks bad uh, and uh, you actually end up spending more time trying to repair that floor later on than if you were to just take the time to do it right the first time. So keep that in mind, um, and uh, you know when we're when we're talking about prices for that, well you know maybe for a scrub and recoat, uh, maybe you're at you know could be eight cents, twelve cents. It all depends on where where you're at and uh, and so on and so forth. But somewhere in that range. But you can always run your numbers and uh, see where you're going to be on profit. Uh, uh, you know with uh, uh, with all your expenses and stuff. But uh, so anyway, uh, if you like the video, uh, go ahead and make sure you subscribe down below and uh, please like it and share and uh, go ahead and leave a comment. Till next time.